Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cosrx Alloy Soothing Sunscreen with SPF 50, which is one of my favorite sunscreens as it feels very hydrating on the skin, it's lightweight, it's non-greasy, it does not leave a white cast and it does not irritate my skin in general. And so when working with Cosrx Alloy Sunscreen, what you have to keep in mind is that first of all it is suitable for all skin types and that you should apply it 15 to 30 minutes before sun exposure. Now, you can already apply your sunscreen in the morning if you're doing your morning skincare routine as usual then that's completely fine however if you do not have a skincare routine and you just want to use sun protection when being exposed to the sun which can be any time throughout the day then just make sure that you're going to apply it 15 to 30 minutes before sun exposure so that's important to keep in mind when working with it now I want to put this video into two parts the first one would be well I want to go over an example morning skincare routine so that you have an idea of the order of application, what's important to do, as well as what are optional steps, how you can adjust it accordingly to your needs. And then the other part would be the entire application so that you can see it visually, so that you have an idea of the amount of product that you should use, as well as how the sunscreen sits and looks on the skin afterwards, so that you have like an idea of how it performs. And so I want to get started with the example routine. Now when working with this sunscreen, you can go ahead and use this sunscreen on its own. So basically just wash your face with your cleanser or just pure water and then move on to the application of your sunscreen. This is how simple you can keep it. However, if you do have other skincare products that you want to include in your morning skincare routine that you usually use or you're a person that likes to wear makeup, well then the order of application and the time in between is important to keep in mind. So I have prepared for you an example morning skincare routine. The products that I have chosen are just examples for different skin types as well as for different skin concerns. Please make sure to always use products that are feeling comfortable on the skin, that do not irritate the skin and that are working well for your overall skin needs. This is very individually. Now everywhere where you can see optional, you do not have to include it, but you can. So the first step is going to be washing your face with a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs or just purely water. So it's important to then wash your face with water, rinse it off, pat the skin dry. If you have a toner at home that you want to include, the next step would be your toning step. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin. Then move on to any other zones or treatments. If you have specific skin concerns and needs, go ahead and apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin. Then after that, you can use a moisturizer just before applying your sunscreen, and then you would move on to the sunscreen step. But the moisturizing step is also an optional step because the sunscreen already on its own feels quite hydrating and soothing on the skin where you may not feel the need of using a moisturizer beforehand. So in that specific case, you need to try out both application methods. So try it once with your moisturizer and once without and see what feels the best on your skin and then adjust it accordingly. And then if you do apply makeup throughout the day, then what you have to keep in mind is that once you have applied the sunscreen all over your face and neck, wait between 5 to 10 minutes in between so that the sunscreen has time to set and then move on to your makeup application. This way you're making sure that you're not going to move around the sunscreen too much when working with concealer and foundation for example because you want to make sure that you keep the protection evenly over your face and neck before being exposed to the sun. So this would be the entire setup of a morning skincare routine but again you can keep it very simple and straightforward by just using the sunscreen and that's basically it. Now, now this would be an example of a morning skincare routine. If you want to go over it in your own time, you can find the PowerPoint slide in the description box down below for you to download because then you can see an overall general guide of how much you can use of your toner, of your serum as well as moisturizer. Of course, this is just a general guide but it should give you an idea of with how much product you should get started. Because when using too much of each skincare products, it sometimes can not only give you an uncomfortable feeling or may feel a bit too heavy or greasy on the skin, but at the same time it may cause pilling. And then when layering the sunscreen afterwards, this can be quite annoying because then you have to start all over again. So those are parts that I do wanna emphasize when it comes to the amount of product that you're going to use in general before applying your sunscreen. 
Now this, however, brings me immediately to the entire application. So I'm going to keep it very simple and straightforward because the two most important steps is washing your face, which I'm going to do with a cleanser, and then you're going to apply the sunscreen. So all the other steps are optional steps. So when it comes to the cleanser, go ahead and choose a cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. This can be a gentle cleanser, this can be an exfoliating acid cleanser, depending on what your skin issues may be, or you just can wash your face with water. Just make sure that if you're washing your face with only water that you're using lukewarm water to warm water so that it feels comfortable on the skin. Now I'm going to use the Inkis List Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. This is just one example. If you have a different one, go ahead and exchange it and just make sure to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser because that's important to do since the directions can change depending on the cleanser that you're using. You can do this above the sink or in the shower and once you're done in the shower then you can continue with the rest of your skincare routine. So I'm going to now use the ink is this hyaluronic acid cleanser. In this specific case, it is advised to apply the cleanser on wet skin. So the first step that I'm going to do is now wetting my face, neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water and I'm going to apply the cleanser onto wet skin. So let's go ahead and do so. Now if you're using a cleanser, use between a coin size amount or about one to two pumps and dispense it in the palm of your hand about that much, more or less. Rub your hands together and then gently massage it over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. So, and once you have massaged a cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water by either just doing this with your hands or if you should have troubles removing the cleanser properly from the skin, you can go ahead and use a soft and fresh washcloth in between which you're going to wet and this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So once you're done with washing your face, you can immediately move on to the next step. Now the next step can be your toner, serum, as well as moisturizer if you want to include it. But make sure that you're going to apply your sunscreen, not on wet skin. So either just immediately use it after your cleansing step once you have pat the skin dry, or just use it immediately after your serum or moisturizing step. But again, make sure that your skin isn't wet. Even though you have applied skincare products beforehand, just make sure that they are able to absorb into the skin and with your moisturizer that you just have an even and thin layer all over and then move on to your sunscreen step. Now I'm going to immediately move on to the sunscreen step since I want to keep my focus on the amount of product and how you can blend it over your face and neck. Now as a general guide you can say for your face, neck and decolletage use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. This is just a general guide which can be adjusted. If you feel like you're ending up with too much product well reduce it by the next time. If you feel like it's not enough well then add a bit more. What I wanted to teach you with this general guide is that you should use a fair amount so that you're able to evenly blend it all over so that you have an even and thin coat all over to protect the skin before being exposed to the sun. And with this sunscreen it does say that you should avoid the eye area. However, I've tried it and I do have to say that it does not irritate my eyes. So for me, when I'm doing the application, I can use it without any issues around the actual eyes, so on the eye contour as well as on the eyelids. I'm just making sure that I'm not getting it into my eyes. And usually I'm going to use the eye area as my last part. So I'm basically keeping my main focus on my face, ears, 
the neck as well as decolletage and then with whatever is left on my fingers I'm going to use it around the eyes so that I'm making sure that I'm not having too much product on my fingertips when I'm using it around the eyes otherwise it can easily get into the eyes and this is one thing that I do advise please do not get it into your eyes and please do not get it into your mouth if that's the case rinse it with water so you can either just use a fair amount immediately on your fingertips rub your fingertips together and then apply it however I do have a teaspoon right here just to give you a visual example you do not have to use a teaspoon or you may just want to use it in the very beginning to have an idea of how much product you're going to use So use about that much more or less for your face neck and then of course if you're going to do your decolletage as well you may want to use a bit more if you feel like you aren't able to blend it properly all over and basically apply it everywhere where you're being exposed to the sun like where the skin is being exposed to the sun when keeping the focus on this part right here. Of course when it comes to the rest of your body you can also use sunscreen on the rest of your body where your skin is being exposed. This may be with the same sunscreen or you just want to look into a body sunscreen. So then use it on your fingertips, rub your hands together and then gently blend it all over. Now it is white at first but this will be gone once you have blended it all over your face, neck as well as decolletage. Now once you're done and with the application of the sunscreen you're going to leave it on the skin desk no need to wash it off. Now you can stop right there and then basically go by your day. However if you're a person that likes to wear makeup then please make sure again to wait 5 to 10 minutes in between so that the sunscreen has time to set before continuing with your makeup application. Now when it comes to the application and the reapplication throughout the day there are a few more points that I do want to emphasize. First of all if you're applying it in the morning and you're just going by your day without doing any major activities where you're sweating where the sunscreen can like wear off or even melt down or break down then you should be fine by just applying it in the morning which should last you for the entire day until in the evening you're going to wash it off because it does have an SPF of 50 so it gives you enough protection when just going by your day However, if you do outdoor activities and you're being exposed to the sun for several hours where the sunscreen can wear off or even break down by just being in the sun or even if you're doing outdoor activities like a, went for a run or maybe went for a swim where the sunscreen, sunscreen can wear off, then the reapplication after those activities is important to make sure that you're going to keep the protection and that you're not going to end up with a sunburn. Now, when it comes to the reapplication, I recommend again washing the sunscreen off that's a sunscreen that removes very easily so you do not need to do a double cleanse method whatsoever it should be fine by just using a gentle cleanser or even micellar water to remove it so it's very simple to remove and then you're going to reapply it again this way you're making sure that you're not coming across any uncomfortable feeling you're not coming across any peeling and you have a proper reapplication done when it comes to makeup if you're wearing makeup throughout the day and you have been exposed to the sun but not really much you just went by your day then this should be okay you do not need to reapply it again throughout the day when just going by your day however if you have worn a makeup throughout the day and you have done outdoor activities at the same time again which uh, would include a run swim or even just by sweating a lot then I recommend doing a reapplication after you're done with the activity now when it comes to the reapplication I do not recommend and applying it on top of your makeup this is just going to be a completely mess so my best advice would be again take off your makeup take off the sunscreen and reapply it, reapply it again by just either using micellar water or a gentle cleanser to make sure that everything comes properly off and then reapply your sunscreen and your makeup because then you're making sure that the protection is even and that you won't look like a mess and that everything feels comfortable on the skin otherwise it's 
not going to work and you will be disappointed when trying to apply this sun suite on top of your makeup so that's not going to work so therefore keep those points in mind when thinking of doing a reapplication throughout the day depending on your overall needs and how your day is basically looking like but this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can use Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream with SPF 50. And I do hope that you enjoyed this guide, that you find it helpful. And if you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to know more about the different skincare products and CD applications, I have several videos on my YouTube channel and I'm going to link some of them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincare! Bye.